Buying the A7S III for YouTube is a stupid thing. I am the dumbest person alive. No, like seriously, I, I probably am the dumbest person alive anyway. So I bought the A7S III not for filmmaking, not for video making, freelance work. I just bought it for YouTube and YouTube alone. And for someone with very little subscribers and very little money earned from YouTube, it's probably insane and stupid to do that. But still, I did it. So here's my experience with the A7S III for YouTube video making over the last one and a half months. And here's the reason why I spend this stupid amount of money to get this camera. Let's start off with my experience. I don't need to really describe it. This is the best YouTube camera ever made. Like you don't get, there's no camera that is this portable, this well-priced with such brilliant image quality. Like it's so good. The battery is good. The EVF is good. The screen is good. The stabilization is good. The frame rates is good. The dynamic range is brilliant. The colors are amazing. I don't need to explain to you why it's good like it's just so nice and it's got so many things that are good for YouTube as well like it's standard picture profile and Cinetone is so good for YouTube because it means minimal color grading saving time it has high frame rate 4k meaning if you want to shoot slow-mo close-up b-roll of a tech product for a tech review for example which is one of the channels that I run a five second clip now takes one second to shoot because you're shooting in 120 fps which is awesome just to give you a few examples like it has so many things that yes it makes filmmakers lives great right and it gives it's great for filmmakers but for youtubers it does a surprisingly great job as well so many of these features just unintentionally brilliant for youtube and it's just great in so many ways that i can't stop loving this camera it's it's yeah there are of course a few disadvantages um the main disadvantage is its price the price of the sd card price of the batteries price of the lenses and of course price of the camera it's not cheap for a youtube budget if you're a filmmaker it's a it's definitely cheap but still it's giving you image quality that's as good as the c70 or the r5 but at much cheaper price and much more compact so before you come to me and say oh those cameras are better for youtube you're wrong because the a7s3 is giving you that level of image quality at least comparable while being so damn portable and efficient and practical and just mm brilliant. Okay, I digress. Um, actually, I'm not digressing, but I'm moving on to the next subject, which is why the hell did I spend five, six, seven thousand Singapore dollars on this whole camera equipment upgrade? Like, I got a new mic. This is a DJI mic, which DJI kindly sent to me. Video about this very soon. I got a shotgun microphone. I got Tamron 17 to 28 f2.8. I've got a 24 to 70 Sony f4 lens, which isn't the best lens ever, but it was cheap and it's great for a cameraman who is not experienced, like an intern to hold because it's got stabilization, which is great. Uh, it's very easy to use. I spend all this money on this gear? Well, the truth is, I was inspired by the legendary YouTuber known as Linus Sebastian or Linus Tech Tips. You see, in 2011 or 2012, when his channel broke off as its own company away from NCIX, uh, a tech seller at that point in time and for him to become like it's his own channel to make his YouTube channel his like life's work, his life's business, what he did early on was buy the Sony FS700. It was a camera that was a proper professional 1080p camcorder that had the potential in the future using an external recorder to record in 4K. He bought it because, well, in the future, he was thinking, I want to shoot in 4K. He was in thinking in the future, I want to be like actually professional. I want to be the benchmark for professional tech videos on YouTube. And it was like buying a camera to set a goalpost. He was hoping that he would buy this camera and hopefully keep the talent around that we can figure out how to grow the channel into his gear to grow the channel around this staple of a camera to really like you know make things happen by having this professional camera and that is kind of why i bought the a7s3 and all this expensive gear it's kind of like setting a goal post spending all this money going like now you have the gear you have no excuses the only thing that's limiting you is whether you study enough about how to make good content and you whether you spend enough effort to make good content and this is kind of their purpose no excuses just pure me it's all on me i have the gear i have the equipment i have to do it also it's a convenience factor for me it's like the a7s3 has so much quality of life features and if i can afford to spend all my savings on it because I'm, i can afford to take big risks at this point in my life i'm only 20 years old it means that i can do crazy stuff with it and and really just go for it and take advantage of the risk that i'm able to take and get an a7s3 and get the best possible gear and get and hit the ground running since i'm going to hit this and do this full time now which is both exciting and unbelievably stressful the number of anxious cries I've had in the bathroom. Another thing is that I kind of see this whole A7S3 purchase as me kind of dating a hot girl. But the only reason I ended up dating the hot girl was because I lied about how rich I am, how successful I am, and how interesting I am. And it's like, you're dating this hot girl, you only started dating her because you've lied to her, and now you have to really start getting your money right, hitting the gym, and actually becoming an interesting person so that you live up to your promises 
and actually deliver on them so she sticks around, although she'll probably leave and cheat on you with some really attractive model anyway. But you know that concept, like you, you, you set those promises and then now you have to meet those promises. That's kind of what the A7S 3 is. It's the really hot girl that I have to live up to. And if I bought an A7S 3 just to make crappy content, I just feel sad. And on top of that, the A7S 3 just is fun to shoot with. With it, I don't think about other gear because I know I have the best camera possible. There's no gear acquisition syndrome. It's just pure gear enjoyment syndrome because I it's a different type of guess and it's it's wonderful. You hold the camera, you admire it, you shoot it, it you just want to shoot with it, you just want to shoot with it, you just want to do crazier stuff, cooler stuff, more amazing stuff with it every single moment because you know you have like the best YouTube camera that's ever been made and you just want to savor every moment of it because you're still impressed that you somehow managed to scrap together all the money to get this camera. So that, that you know, invigorates me, that keeps me going, that motivates me and also makes me want to make better content and of course the fact that it's a really good camera allows me to make better content in terms of like technical quality, which is nice. Those are the reasons I bought the A7S 3 If you think they are stupid, go ahead, disagree with me in the comment section, I would love to hear. If you think they're not stupid, you can console me in the comments because I just spent like close to $10,000 on a YouTube channel upgrade for a YouTube channel that technically isn't really that good. See you guys around. Uh, make sure you subscribe because I'm going to be reviewing the DJI Max soon. I pretty much have the first set in Singapore, which is super baller. I'm also going to be reviewing like this really sick audio interface for like streamers. This is basically a $50 Go XLR. They're all coming. So subscribe. Exciting stuff in the works. Bye.